Hi all my wonderful friends and family out there. Uh, this little video is going to be about knitting and I've uh, sat myself up here <laughs> amongst the animals and it's such a beautiful day so I think I'll uh, add that uh, it'll be nice light uh, to show you and um, I just want to say shortly that uh, knitting uh, working with wool has been a part of uh, human existence, I mean, for thousands and thousands of years. Knitting is, is quite recent, really, and I think the oldest the oldest thing, garment they have found it was uh, an Arabic uh, or Arabian, what do you call it, uh, um, sock, and it's from the, 12th, uh, the 1200s. Uh, and they uh, think that knitting, as we know it today, uh, it, it is done in different ways, but it, that it originates from uh, Arabia and that it has come up into Europe uh, from there. Uh, so, and I've I've got out a basket here, and and what I w want to teach you is the, the the Danish way, and it's actually probably taught to us uh, originally uh, by the, the the Dutch people who came to Denmark in the 1600s, and. Um, or I, I'm, I'm actually not sure, but there's the, the English way, which I have never really learned, because uh, I always, I learned the Danish way by my mother, and uh, it's actually quite um, quite much, a lot faster to do it the Danish way. Uh, and of course, once you've learned one way, uh, that's the easiest, and it's hard to change. But if you're just learning to knit, it's actually good to, to start off learning to knit the Danish way. Um, so I'll show you just a few things. This is from our sheep. Uh, it's things I've made. This is what I've got on. It's from the sheep that are out here behind me. Um, I made this uh, last winter and this just recently I made this thick one. It's from a jumper I, I really liked. I was given by one of our children and uh, I took the pattern and uh, or made it sort of similar. Uh, so it's really amazing once you learn to knit and if you learn to, to make your patterns yourself or just learn how you can sort of build up a pattern, you can actually make, make uh, incredible things. And it's all really with very simple stitches. I've never been good at uh, the, the complicated stitches. So it's really basic stitches. And uh, like this, for instance, is actually uh, our own uh, grey sheep and uh, a black sheep uh, and this here is some wool I dyed some years ago which is from uh, it's actually a, a little um, beetle <laughs> that lives in South America and it's called Cochinil in Danish Cochinil or something and I bought it in a little little packet it just dried these little bugs that are dead and uh, it's dried and you make a powder of it and then you can dye white wool and make it so beautiful. And um, that's just really amazing. I haven't done much dyeing, but I think this was an, an amazing experience. And I love the I love the pink colours. It's so beautiful. Um, and if you look after a garment like this and keep the moths out, see, I couldn't do that. It's had a it's got a moth hole. If you keep it air it well keep the moths out. You can have it for many many years. And here we have some of the white wool from this jumper and some grey wool from a grey sheep I used to have and here's from a brown sheep and it's all hand spun wool. So I think I'll start off with this white wool and I'll take, I'll take these just have to check <laughs> it's not used to having me in a chair out here but I think they'll be okay so this is this is circular needles and uh, I use them a lot and it's no it's no scientific thing about it it's uh, you can knit you can knit uh, just squares with it but you can also knit rounds with it so if you're knitting a jumper and you don't want to sew the jumper up in the sides 
afterwards you can just knit round. I'm making a bit of a mess here. It's really handy to have these. And uh, knitting with, with wood is very nice. You can get bamboo and you can get wood. I think this is, a, this is rosewood or something. It's very nice for the hands because it's natural uh, compared to metal. Now, here we go. I'm going to show you how to start off. And so here we have... I'm going to take a piece and go into the wool a little bit. And then you make a, you make a loop like this. So just, just an ordinary loop. And you put you put both your needles into the loop. I don't know if you, maybe I should turn a bit so you can get the sky in the background and you can see it better. Now, this is a little bit difficult to start off with, uh, but it's everything once you've learnt it. Uh, you're you're on your way. So actually, put your your um, Pointer, pointer finger and your thumb in between the two strings and then you hold it like this. See that with your hand? Like this. And uh, my husband's doing some spelling. Uh, now you've got it like this and you go down <laughs> like this. Okay? And so here we start. You go he under you go over and you pull it through and you pull. That's one stitch. The first one was the loop and here was the stitch. So now we go again. You go under, over, pull it through and pull. I'll show it sort of from both ways. You go under, over the other one pull it through and just pull, just sort of tighten them. And you can tighten them quite hard. So you go under, take the other one, go through and pull. Go under, over, go through and pull. I think you can do this many ways, but this is the way the way I learnt, and it's pretty much the Danish way to do it. I'll turn around the other way, maybe that helps you a bit. I don't know. You can see it from here. You take it under there. Oops. Okay, I'll just count. Count the stitches. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. We'll just make twenty. Eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Now we've got a string now that's loose that just has no, it's just cut off. And now we have this, and we're going to keep this. Um, this is what, what we're going to use for knitting, of course. And then what you do is, you sort of watch out here, but you pull one out, and now you've got it. You've got it on one needle. And you could just use ordinary needles for this. You don't need a circular needle. So now what we're going to do now is start knitting. And we're just going to do plain knitting. So the Danish way, I think it's best, I, I move around like this, you put your put your pointing finger oops, and then you hold like this. So I think I'll just uh I'll just turn the camera so you can see better. Mm. Or maybe this way. I'll get the light from here. Thank you. 
see what it looks like when you're knitting. So, got the wool, put that down there in the basket. And this you just leave, this one you just leave. And then you take, you take this one, the one you're going to knit with, put your, put your pointing finger under there, and then, and then you hold like this. Okay? Well, actually, you have it in your hand like this. So the one you're going... Oh, that is not very really smart. But actually, this wool fell apart. So I'll just put a knot on this. It's just some leftover wool I have. Okay, try again. You've got your needle here. And you hold on to it. And the wool that you're going to work with, you put over your pointing finger and I into your hand. The, this, this just bit that you're not going to knit with, you just leave that. Now you're set and you've got the, got the string over here. So you go in and you go over. You pull it back and take it off. This is the way you, you knit in Denmark. You go into the stitch, just into the into this part of the stitch. You go over oops, sorry. Into there, over, and pull it through like that. Now so now we've knitted three. So in in take it over, pull it through and lift it off. So you, you keep having this beautiful string that's just coming off the finger. It's ready there to take. See, you don't have to do something with this hand. This is just more or less just pulling, just controlling it. And if you like, you can put your finger there to sort of hold it back when you're learning to sort of, so it doesn't slip off. And after a while, you learn to just use this finger. But in the beginning, you just go round like this. Oh, the sun's going away now. So here we have our first first row. Of knitting. Now we turn it around and you can see this one here is just hanging there. You can cut that off if it's too long. And here it looks different. It's sort of got the pearl pearl pattern. But that's what it's going to look like when you that's like what I've done here on this jumper. This is this part here. That's what we're doing. But you're going to get that that pattern that's there. So now we do it again. You go into the first the, the, the front part of the stitch. You take it over and you pull it back through. So in, in, over and through. In, over and through. And you can feel feel the string coming up. And if you think it it's going, t you're pulling it too fast, or it's just too loose, you can just you can just tighten your hand a little bit so that the string doesn't come so fast. Oh, it's getting really cloudy now, so we might go indoors. So. So we'll just continue. 
maybe get a little bit closer. Closer the better. Whoops. Sorry. So if we've got the holding the holding the piece of work and you put the you've got the wool over the finger. This is just a, this is just a bit that's. I'll just cut that off. Just cut this off, so we can see the difference. And you take it, so it's not over this way. It's over. It's behind. You go over the pointing index finger, or what do you call it? and then uh, keep the wool in your hand like this. This is just a knot, it's nothing. So we go into the front, go around, take it through and pull that off. So often when you're learning, uh, here comes the knot. Doesn't matter, just leave that. You're learning; these all f come off. So you, you sort of hold them back with this thumb. Hold the, these ones back. So that was the third I think, third row. We turn it again and now we can we can just chop this off, this wool and also keep it, but if you want to use other colours let's just use some grey. So we want another colour now and we'll just take the wool and hold that. So this will just leave this one we've been using and we'll take the new one and just sort of hold it between, you can hold it there so it doesn't slide through and you do the same, now you're just taking the grey and just sort of hold it so it doesn't pull through otherwise you could have you could have tied it to this tied them together with a knot and then you just continue with the grey and I'm using big uh, needles because that makes it easier of course, when you're starting to learn, always use big needles because that's like everything. Uh, it's much easier to control. But of course, you're going to get much more loose knitting. Turn it and take it over your index finger and you go again. So you're sort of using this to pull this back. I can, I can try to go, oops, going around so you can see what it looks like for me. This is what it looks like for me. And I'm knitting. So it's so in, over, and through, in, over, and through, and the last one, and of course that's a bit loose because that's where the loose end is, so we can just to make it easy for ourselves just tie them together, the end of the grey and the end of the white, there you go, get the right one, just put this black because it makes it easier to see when you have a black background. And here we go again. And the next video, I'll show you how to to do the 
the other type of stitch. I can't remember what it's called in English. We call it Vra. This is a Rat. Rat, R E T. Rat is the right side, or and the other doing the other stitch is called Vra. So now we're getting some a bit of pattern in it. And we can take the brown, cut off the grey. Oi. And take some of the brown. And we'll make it easier for ourselves by just tying it on so that it doesn't slip. So just leave all those ends, and when you finish uh, you, with a needle, you sew it all in. All these you sew into the to the work, but I can sh show you that later. So you hold here over the index finger and get it under there, and then you go with the brown. So nice. I love knitting. And uh, in old times in Denmark, uh, everyone was knitting. The children were knitting. The I mean, the men were knitting. The women were knitting. So uh, you have these beautiful old paintings of women, uh, the milking maids who've been down to milk on the on the fields, and they're carrying the milk on their head. Um, and they and they're knitting. They're usually knitting socks and knitting socks you use four needles so you're actually you're going round on four needles I can show you that one day how to knit socks because that's probably what they just mostly needed to have warm feet because when you have warm feet uh, the whole body's warm often And now we have a bit of brown coming. And I just love how these colours come from nature. These ones I'm knitting with. It's the colour of the of the wool of the sheep. It's just completely natural. And this is especially is really beautiful because it's got this red and white grey, it's got these all these different colours in it. Oops, sorry. All these different colours in it. So beautiful. How nature is just uh, in itself. So wonderful. Now I'll show you this. Uh, we're going to finish this off now. And how you finish it off is you could do a scarf, just do, just keep going and going and going and going. And uh, it's actually, if you keep going, you might like to not cut these off. Just keep them with you, and you can just pull up um, the, ne the the color if you want gray again. You just pull the color up and keep going. But then you'll have three of these. Um, what do you call them? These yarn rolls to to keep an eye on, and they can knot into each other. So now we're going to finish it off. So we just knit one, as we've done before, and we knit one again. And we pull uh, the, the first one we made over the one we just made. Just hold on to it. And you've finished that off. See? It's finished off. Do it again. And you pull it. I don't know if you can see this. <laughs> pull it over. Maybe I should take this away. You've got a white background now. So you've got one here. You knit one more. And you pull with this one. Hold on to them. Pull this one over. Whoops. Now this is two ply wool. So there's two two plies. It's like this, the wool. So just make sure that you've got both of them with you. So whenever you've finished your garment, this is how you do it. And make sure it's 
actually quite loose just keep this quite loose because you don't want this end bit all, all small if you make it too tight you're going to end off with uh, something that's not does not look nice so it's better to do it a little bit loose when you're finishing off I just keep going oops just make sure you get some light on I should have set the other way, I think. We'll see how this is. We need the light on there. This last one. And over it goes. And now I've got the last one here. And what do I do with that? You just cut off the string and you pull it through. There we go. Now you can't unloosen it but if you took that through you could just loosen it and just keep pulling and you'd undo it all so that was our first little uh, knitting uh, little thing and from this if you just learn this you can make anything <laughs> so that was our first little knitting lesson